Natalia Gordienko with Sugar. Who remembers Natalia from 2006? I was actually there. There you go. Moldova. They made a debut. Yeah, but she's back this year. In fact, she was supposed to be back last year. She's back this year with Sugar. Uh, it's from the dream team that includes, of course, Philip Kirkorov. Um, the uh, she's a she's a TV host and a DJ. Um, it's it's well, it's something. Is the song? It's pretty crazy. Um, let's see what our panel think of it. I mean, it's very unmistakably uh, <laughs> Philip Kirkorov for one. Uh, let's go to Oban first. Oban, what do you think of Sugar? I cannot be any more. Lost the words. Um, disappointed? Let's, let's put it that way. Disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I'll go. Um, I don't want to make any more haters. I've gained this season uh, enough. Um, I mean, last year, so age appropriate. I'm not age shaming or anything or anything, but it was, it felt organic. That music and her image and her presence and her charisma. It was a cultural orgasm with me. But this year, it was so outdated Katy Perry. It was so outdated 2006. It was so off. The styling, the lyrics. What were they thinking? Thank you. Thank you, Oban. I think you've just given me the o OMG moment of the show. Um, right. Let's come back. Can I right, just, can I just, I was going to say, can I just say, Steve, that that was, that was like total OMG. How can he say that? She had rainbow cake in her mouth. I mean, you know. That was somebody's jaw. I fart, so. I fart rainbow cake. There's nothing <laughs> special about that. <laughs> oh, now that that's that's quote moment of the series that is i like that i'm gonna Let's write go that marius for marius's view marius what do you make of sugar well i don't care if she's biting somebody's chin off or it's if it's a cake i'm sorry the the first time i i heard the song i thought that was three minutes wasted um this is bad i mean it's like you're eating the same food over and over again Plastic, cheesy, cheap. Um, Philip Gilgorov, I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> no. I don't drink alcohol, but I might have a drink after speaking about this. This should not qualify. But I think they have a lot of neighbors who love them, so it will definitely qualify, I'm sure. Is anyone surprised to learn that I like it? Um, let's move to my. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Fantastic. This is Moldova to a T, okay? This oh, is yeah. just, this is a little bit crazy, a little bit, it. yes, it's a bit retro, but hey, we've just been talking about Hooverphonic and we are back another 10 years back from that, okay? So it's, it takes a genre, it, it plays for it, and I am everything for it. I think this is, I think this will qualify without a problem. This is um, one of my favourite songs this year, and I can't wait to find a Eurovision dance floor to uh, dance away to this. Thank you, Michael. I think, that's the, I think that's the thing. People forget that she's a really good dancer, and uh, she can sing live. She proved that in 2006. Whether you like the song or not, she will sing and dance the heck out of this. Tristan, come to you. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's, it's, it's so Kylie as well. Um, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I... I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised with um, with 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 some of the reaction here because I just thought, well, some of the negative reaction. I just thought everyone would love it. Um, it's, I'm worried. I'm worried because it's, it's it's in that first half of the semi final with San Marino and Serbia, two other bangers. Um, it hasn't got Romania to vote for it in the, in that semi final, so it's going to be a problem. And for it to get through, I think six are going to have to get through in the first half of the of the uh, semi final, which is going to be quite unusual. But it certainly deserves to get there. And I think it's one of those songs that if it does get through the final, it will do really well in the final, much better than in the semi-final. Mm. Um, but it's just, it's just fantastic. Um, the only worry I have is that if, if, um, if 
they're, they're, they're gonna they're, because San Marino and uh, Moldova are both quite similar and all have a will have a similar audience. Um, I think the the, the EPU are going to want to give San Marino a really decent place, maybe singing in in eighth or ninth place, which means that they might decide to open the show with Moldova. That might be a problem, uh, you know, because they want to they want to keep Moldova and San Marino quite far apart. Otherwise, there'll be two banging songs together. But absolutely love it, and um, people who don't like it haven't got a heart. <laughs> cool. well, let's, let's, we're gonna, we've got other guests yet, Tristan. <laughs> they might not agree. Um, let's go to uh, Alina. Alina, she's uh, a video something. She's ripping a guy's jaw off. I mean, that is one hungry milf. What do you make of this song? I need my sugar in my system to like this song. That's all I have to say. I'm sorry. Are you eating sugar? Is that a strawberry? Yeah, there you go. She's eating sugar. Jeanette, what... <laughs> I think I know you well enough to know now. This is not going to be a song that you'll be listening to time and time again. What, really? Tell, really? Tell me I'm wrong. Well, you know, I am a sugar addict, I have to say. But this is a fun video. I have to agree with it. And I think it's going to be a fun staging, a fun night, a fun three minutes. But it's kind of crap anyway. Uh, but she looks damn good. I have to say that. It's been... 15, 20 years since she was on last time, and she looks just as good now. She's look, she looks awesome. Maybe I'm just jealous. I don't know, but it's a shit song, so next. But it's going to go big, I'm pretty sure. I mean, think Moldova 2017. Uh, I think Doridos a few years back. You know, so Moldova don't do badly at Eurovision. They finished third in 2017. Let's not forget that. They can go high. Um, let's go to Yuna. They can go low, too. <laughs> oh my god yeah i love this song i don't know why everyone hates it it's just fun it's like michael said typical moldovan style uh i love the video clip and i really hope they're gonna bring the video clip to the stage that they're yeah i just love the song sugar everyone <laughs> Thank you, Yuna. And you know what? You can't have Eurovision without having this guy, can you? <laughs> he pops up every year one way or another. Did anyone see his music video from earlier this year? He actually rapped in it with dreadlocks. He looked fantastic. Go and YouTube him. He's, he's about somewhere. Finally, Tom, what uh, has the, the cocktail, my friend? The cocktail's great, Stu. By the way, this is, this is Steve's recommendation this evening. It's only got 100 mils of vodka in it, so I think we can safely say... That it's got enough in. Um, Tom, he's absolutely I... smashed everybody. Can I just say, I, yeah. I've known this guy long enough to know he's he'd be, he'd, be, he'd be on the floor by the end of this show. Just keep watching on Tom, yeah? Bring it on, Tom. I'm in the chat room. It's fine. I've only got this much left still. I may need to get a top up. Um, but it's a divided opinion in the chat room. Uh, Matt says that he's with Stuart, Michael, Tristan. Sugar is a oh, banger. Man. Gustav says too many bangers this year. I'm so bored by it. Ian says he would happily never hear this song again. Um, you know, whereas Ben says Moldova, best song for a long time. And Haley reckons it's just really good fun. Um, what do I think? Uh, do you know what? The thing is, I can imagine uh, being on the dance floor, dancing away to this and having a really good time. And I think it's got a lot going for it. I think where it's going to fall down is where you have similar songs of that ilk. Does it stand out enough amongst the songs that have that same vibe? And I'm not sure. I'm not sure it does. And I think that's where it's going to be hinging on the staging. Obviously, if they bought some rainbow cakes, do you? Mm. I'd, I'd be there. But as, as Oban said, he farts rainbow cake. So if I were you, I'd stand the opposite side of the stage <laughs> to Oban. <laughs> so, hey, back to you. Just to remind everybody, this is actually the 14th to win in the betting. Um, it's, it's higher than both Belgium and uh, the United Kingdom, but that's no real surprise.